Hello, this is Tolvo. Welcome to episode 25 of Let's Play Neo, part one of The One-Eyed Dragon's Castle. We're going to be going on our way after Date Masamune to put an end to his uprising. Now, this mission is normally a long one. We'll be doing it a bit fast. If you're playing along yourself, don't be discouraged that this level took you quite a while to get through. Leaving that enemy behind because of it's one of the doppelgangers. You can tell because they don't stagger at all. I was waiting for it to try and come underneath the ladder so I could drop on it and hit it. Now, I have to be a little bit careful with how I use my spear around here. There are a lot of kegs of black powder that are designed to explode if hit with fire or firearms. And I'm using the spear of Naoamasa, the red demon. So it does have a fire effect on it. As my backup weapon, I have Oni Sakan's spear, so that I can get a bonus to tornado attacks, which that was the tornado you just saw a moment ago. Well, now Masa's spear gives a bonus to Spearfall, which is a different move. It requires you to be in heavy attack mode. Right there is an example of me hitting a keg of black powder. But it worked out to my advantage this time. Thankfully not a doppelganger since I could backstab them. I do love that trick of you do the large charge up attack with the spear and hit them, knock them down, and then you can execute them while they're on the ground. Again, this level is very big and it's easy to get lost in it. You can also do a bit of stealth to get around enemies, just avoiding them. Tornado can deal quite a lot of damage and is very good at helping you build up flame on an enemy. Or any status ailment, really. Yeah. 
That was Spearfall right there. Dealing quite a bit of damage. But I wanted to get that Kodama. This is a tricky little spot right here. There is a doppelganger and one of the Namahage. You want to nuke the doppelganger as fast as possible. So you don't have to fight them both at once. Always remember you can hit them in the head and knock them down. It makes fighting them quite a bit easier. Here's where the castle starts to get a bit more confusing. Now I can't go ahead, but I'm going to go back just a little bit. So when in strong stance, you can unlock an ability that causes you to do an additional attack whenever you keep pulse. Sometimes it's handy, a lot of the times it gets in the way of things. And leaves you open when you want to keep pulse and then block or dodge right away. But I couldn't leave this Kodama behind. I don't believe I got all of them in this level, but I got quite a few. Now to finally go forwards. This is a bit of a trap setup to allow this rifleman to shoot and explode those barrels.
Right now we're going to go through and start clearing out the towers. You don't have to do this, but for the upcoming sort of sub-boss battle you'll want to. Atop the towers are multiple gunners and ninjas, and then a ninja Yoki with a cannon in its hand. When you're fighting the mini-boss, they're able to fire down upon you. So taking them out just makes it easier for you. You can totally do the boss with them still intact. I've done it before, it's not too bad, but it just requires a lot of kiting. This is a new enemy type to the DLC. If I remember correctly though, when the DLC released, some of New Game Plus content was added to have these things.
So here is the sort of sub boss to the level, Katakuro Shigenaga. You can fight him with all of the towers undamaged. It is a bit harder, you have to kite him around more. He's not too bad of a fight because of he's limited in the same way a lot of humanoid enemies are, so you can stagger and stun lock him. Like so. Also, you get a trophy slash achievement for waiting for him to finish his speech. He drops the gate key that allows us to continue on to fight Date Masamune, who we will see next time in the next update, episode 26. See you next time.